How's it going guys? Velcraft PV here from Team Tiny Whoop and Team Alien Whoop and today I'm going to be going over how to build your Alien Whoop Zero. First things you guys are going to want to do is take it out of the box and admire how lightweight the flight controller is and how minimalistic it is. Then what you're going to do right after that is you're going to get your receiver which currently I have right here RSXR. I deep pinned it and I soldered my three cables which is power, ground and signal. Once you got your receiver ready then you got your flight control and you solder it right on. And then I'll take you guys through the process of binding it and how to set your channels and how to set your modes. So what I have here is a RSXR receiver that is not unpinned yet. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna cut this off and desolder these tiny little pins right here. And basically you're gonna wanna solder to your power, your ground, and your signal. Once you have that going, you're gonna wanna remove one of the antennas or if you use telemetry, you can keep both. So this right here is basically already done. I have shortened my antenna length and I've soldered my cables and I put a little heat, bit of heat shrink here to make, you know, so it won't short or anything. Then you grab your receiver and you put a little bit of solder on your RX1 5 volt and ground just to make contact with the cables. Once you have that going, then you solder your receiver directly to your board and then we're gonna go into the binding process. Once you guys have successfully soldered your receiver onto your flag controller, you're gonna come over to your radio and you're gonna create a new model. I created a new model right here on my model number 15. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click on page and you're gonna come over to inputs. On inputs is where you're gonna set your pitch, your roll, your throttle, and your roll properly. And this is the proper way we've done it. So for channel one is aileron, channel two, aileron, channel three, throttle, and channel four, rudder. And now, this is where a lot of people have questions about arming and modes. On channel five, as you can see right here, I set this switch back here. So you're going to set channel 5 to whatever you, whatever switch you want to arm on. Once you've successfully done that, you're going to come over to channel 6, and this is where you're going to set your modes. As you can see, it moves. I have my upper right switch right here for modes, so for acro and for angle. And once you guys have done that, then we're going to come over and we're going to bind the receiver. Now that all your modes are set, you're going to want to come down to page again, to menu, Go down to your model and click on page. It's going to be the first page. The easiest way to scroll all the way down is click up. And you're going to bind on channel 1 through 16 as I have it here. And now we're going to click on bind. And you can either have your telemetry on or off depending on how many antennas you have. I have preferably one, but I still do it with telemetry. So. Now the radio goes into bind mode. Now that your radio is in bind mode, we're gonna bind the receiver. The way you do that is you need a battery and you need something to, to push down on the little pad or the little button that's on the receiver, which is right here. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna hold down the little button and you're gonna somehow, some way, try to plug in your battery with one hand. There you go. If you don't see this green light, you did not do it properly. You're gonna have to re redo the whole thing over. Basically, I'll run it over again is you connect, you hold down the little button at, while you plug in a battery and at the same time while your radio is in bind mode. Once you see this little green light, you power cycle everything. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on the radio again. Welcome to OpenTX what we're going to do is we're going to plug in a battery. Now that we have a green solid light here, that means we are bound and we're ready to finish the build and get you up in the air. Now that everything is bound and ready to go and you have all your channels set right, you're going to want to prep your frame. I've already done it. I've already put my awesome sauce motors in here, my Ishin quad blades, and a little modification we do to our frames in order to fit the receiver a little more accordingly is we cut the center piece right here. As you can see, it's gone. It doesn't mess the structure of the frame, so it won't warp on you or anything. Now what we're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna grab your flight controller and your receiver, place it right in the middle. 
Now that we've got the flight controller in the frame and your motor is plugged in, as you can see right here, and make sure your receiver is nicely pushed and it doesn't move, all you have to do to finish this build is solder on your camera and we're ready to go fly. Now that you have your camera soldered on and your canopy of choice, you're going to want to grab your battery and make sure everything works. So we're going to plug in the battery and get a telemetry reading hopefully. Telemetry recovered. So we got telemetry back which means our radio is bound, our receiver is bound and ready to go. You're going to get a bunch of rapid blinking lights in the back which means that it's making sure that it has a receiver to it. Once it's solid, then we should be able to arm, which we are. So that means we're ready to go rip. One last thing before you guys go, I wanna let you know about the modes for positions. So on the same switch for channel six, you're gonna to wanna to set your modes on whatever switch you want. I have it set on my top right one, top left. So on the top position is always gonna be angle, and when I switch it down, that means it's acro. So right now we only have two modes and we're currently working on more things for you guys to try. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys on the next one.